Hi guys, welcome back. This was my first attempt at a Northern Lights. It's cool the way it is, but it's not a Northern Lights. So I have got two more of these. And what I did was um, this time I only added the neon colors. And as you can see, they're transparent. I, I don't want them to be opaque. I want to be able to see the sky behind the, the new layer of resin. I did the background the same way I did the first one. And I let it cure. And this is still got, I still got to mix it. All right, so what I learned from that other record was that I made the resin pigments too opaque. The second thing was that I added too much resin. Let's see what we can do. See if we can make a mess.
I am not liking this, guys. Not liking it at all. Swiping is not going to work. What can I do? I'll let this cure and I will come back when it's cured and we will do the next layer. See you in a bit. Okay guys, I've got some contact paper down. Just wanted to get another brush here. It's an outline of a tree. I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, you can see it. What I did was I designed this look. See my little wolf? And I put it, uh, well, I designed it in silhouette cameo. Cut out the outline so that I could um, paint this silhouette black.
Okay, let's peel this off. Ugh. This is sticky contact paper. I don't recommend it using it for anything. Unless you want to line something and not have to take it off. So throw that away. Okay, can you see? Isn't that cute? So now we'll let this dry. And then I'll come back do some touch-ups where it's not quite black enough for me. And then we'll do a another coat of resin to cover it I'm, but I'm still in the thinking mode I don't know if I want to try to embellish this a little I'm just not sure but what do you think I wish I could get rid of that dying glare all right enough waffling let's get to uh, let's let this dry and we'll come back I'm back. This is all dry. I'm just finishing up stirring. I'm using the epoxy resin from the epoxy resin store. It's the general purpose one. Love this resin. It is inexpensive. It's easy to work with. There's no smell whatsoever. And if I were to mix this slowly, there wouldn't be many bubbles, but I, I mix, I don't, cause I don't care about bubbles. I can get them out with a torch really easy. So this looks pretty good. I don't see any streaks in it. I've been mixing it for about three minutes and there's about four ounces here, which is what we need for this 12 inch circle. Now, I still don't know if I like this or not, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it because I have a spare that I started. I did two of these at the same time. I did the background only. Okay, let's torch this. I can see that I'm not level again. So I'll put that there. All right, so I'll let this cure and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. I think that maybe I had five ounces in there. I'm going to uh, use this stick. I think that'll get me a little more height on this side because it keeps still dripping. Okay, guys. We will see you when this is all done. All right, here we go. Look at my sparkly night sky. That's not too bad. Still not sure about this. I 
I like the wolf. I like the tree line. Got a lot of dust on it. You can't keep that off. But if I'm looking at this and it was on a wall, you're not going to stand six inches away from it and look at it. So far away, it looks pretty good. Close up, I don't like it at all. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you stay tuned for Wednesday's acrylic pour. I will be doing something totally different, a new technique. I've been practicing with some paint that um, I just received, and I'm waiting for my Amsterdam paint to arrive. It was supposed to be here yesterday, but anyways, that's neither here nor there for this video. All right. We will see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.